Okay, so we're asked to find the single transformation that goes from A to B. Okay, so first things first, I ask myself a number of questions here. Question number one, has it been mirrored? No, not really. So it's not a reflection. Has it just moved? Well, it has moved, but it hasn't just moved. It's not the same shape, so it's not a translation. Uh, has it been flipped over? Well, no, it's the same way up, so it's not a rotation. The last question is, has it changed size? Well, yes, it has, so it's an enlargement. Now, with enlargement, and I can put that into my answer first of all, so it is an enlargement. With enlargement, I need to work out what the scale factor is. So if I have a look at the bottom, that's one square across on A, and it becomes two squares across on B. So what do I times one by to get to two? Or I could do two divided by one. So the um, one on the second shape divided by the one on the first shape. Two divided by one is two. So we know that the scale factor is two. Now the last thing we need to do is the center of enlargement. And to do that, you get a ruler and you join up all of the points but carry them on. So I'm joining up the bottom left ones, I'm joining up the bottom right ones, and I'm joining up the top left ones. So I'm just joining all of these up and you notice that they all cross over at this point here and that's called our center enlargement. So let's just check where that is. Okay, so the center of enlargement is 3 minus 4 and you need all three of those things sometimes it's only two marks and you don't always get a mark for saying enlargement however you can't get full marks unless you say enlargement so make sure you have the word enlargement and the scale factor to guarantee that you uh, get that first mark and then the second mark or the third mark will be for the center of enlargement